at one level, it might seem that the kind of debates we're having today in quantum foundations are very little different from the kind of debates we've been having for decades in quantum foundations. Um, but I think that hides the fact that there has been, you know, genuine progress uh, in clarifying some of the issues. Some of the the themes go all the way back to, you know, Einstein and Bohr, or perhaps to, you know. Um, Plato versus Aristotle. Einstein was definitely a realist in inclination and Bohr much more of an operationalist. For an operationalist, the science, the purpose of science is just a way of organizing observations about the world, or, or perhaps more accurately, to organize um, you know, interventions and, and observations, how you expect those things to relate. Uh, whereas a realist is someone who's interested in what is the underlying reality that makes those things happen. An operationalist approach is to, is to say, well, we see these correlations, um, um, but it's a mistake to try to understand where those correlations come from. It's just a fact that we have to accept that if we do these preparations and we do these measurements, then quantum mechanics predict these correlations and that's just the way things are. And we shouldn't ask anything anything deeper. And one of the conclusions you can make from looking at you know, interventions, observations, is that there's no way to signal faster than light, for example. So that's an operationalist view of what uh, you know, the, this, this matter of fact about locality in the world is. The realists typically have a different notion of what locality should mean in the world. And this is something that Bell finally came to the, you know, called local causality was his preferred term. Uh, and that's basically that, it, it, that all correlations should be explicable by local actions or by, by, by causal influences, if you like, going less than the speed of light. Uh, and what we know is that Bell's correlations are not explicable in those terms. And so realists typically say then that you know, Bell's theorem implies that the world is non-local. Um, but as I said, what that means is it's implicit in, that, in, in saying that, that they're really talking about explaining correlations, whereas for an operationalist, that's not uh, part of the agenda. We know if you want a realist interpretation, it has to be, um, you know, there, there, there has to be some strange features to it because um, the world is just strange and Bell correlations are the obvious example for that. So. Uh, every realist interpretation has to be counterintuitive in some way. I, I don't know whether it's resolvable uh, unless we actually go beyond quantum mechanics. So uh, if, if we're stuck with just the quantum formalism and trying to interpret it, uh, as depressing as that may seem, maybe we'll never resolve this debate. And quantum gravity is the best indication of why we might expect quantum mechanics to break down because we have these two tremendously successful theories general relativity and quantum mechanics, um, and yet they, they just don't go together. Uh, so something has to give. My ideal about how things would work out is that it would break down and that we will find then indications about what the, you know, a, a true rea reality underlying that.